The moving average is one of the best trend-based indicators out there, known for its simplicity and accuracy in identifying the speed and change of price movement. This indicator can sometimes work decently even on its own. However, there is an improved version of the moving average indicator that also takes market trend reversals into consideration. This indicator is called MA Sabres. In this video, we're going to explore what this indicator is and how we can use it to spot potentially profitable trades in the market. If you find this video helpful, please remember to leave a like and comment. But before that, I want to introduce you to our backtesting service as it makes it very easy and saves you time when backtesting your strategy. Thousands of traders are using Trader Edge to get an edge on their competition. It also has a lot of features that would definitely take you one step ahead of your trading career, just like the position calculator that serves as a great tool for risk management. Are you not sure how to backtest? No worries, you will also get a full step-by-step -step backtesting plan which has a $100 value. Not sure how to build a profitable trading strategy? No worries, you will also get a full course on how to build a profitable mechanical trading strategy, which has a $270 value. And if you sign up right now, they'll even throw in for pre-made high-quality strategies that have a $100 value. That's for $170 worth of bonuses all for free. But only if you sign up right now. Trader Edge has a 7-day free trial so there's absolutely no risk. Click the link in the description below. To add this indicator to your chart, first, go to Trading View. If you need to sign up, the link for that will be in the video description. Next, open the Indicator Search tab and type in MA Sabres. Select the one by Lux Algo. The MA Sabres indicator highlights potential trend reversals based on the direction of the moving average. Detected reversals are accompanied by an extrapolated saber-shaped pattern that can be used as support or resistance and as a source of breakouts. This indicator is composed of several different components. Let's go over them quickly. When a specific moving average maintains its trend for a certain period, a shift in that trend might indicate a potential reversal. This shift is visible as a distinctive saber-shaped pattern. This saber pattern can serve multiple purposes, such as acting as a support or resistance level, indicating a potential new direction, or even serving as a stop-loss point if the price is expected to move in the opposite direction. To identify these shifts, we'll be monitoring the MA to see if it constantly moves in the same direction for a set number of consecutive bars. Once this occurs, we'll draw a circular shape one bar back, using the previous high or low, depending on the prior direction of the MA. This circular shape forms the basis for the saber pattern. The tip of this saber extends as far as the user defined MA length. The angle of this saber is determined by the average true range of the previous 14 bars. If the previous 14 bars were less volatile, the saber will be flatter, and if there was greater volatility, the saber will be more angled. Now that we know what this indicator is made of, the next question is how can we use it to trade? Well, I'm going to show you, but before that, we need to customize the settings of this indicator to suit our strategy. To do that, just double-click on it to access the settings panel. As you can see here, the first thing that we can change is the method of the moving average being used. Now this indicator offers different types of moving averages you can choose from, and if you select the None option, it will remove the indicator from the chart. So, you should consider not doing that. You can experiment with the different types of moving averages to find the one that best suits your trading style. For these settings, I use the triple exponential moving average. Tima aims to reduce the lag associated with traditional moving averages by applying a triple smoothing technique, making it more responsive to recent price changes. This can be useful for identifying potential trend reversals or accelerations. So we'll leave it at that. Also, we'll maintain the original length at 50. Again, I will keep the trend duration default settings. For the colors, I prefer to use colors that differentiate the indicator from the candlestick chart. For a bullish saber, 
blue is a good choice, and for a bearish saber, yellow is a suitable option. We won't be making use of the MA color, so go to the style and uncheck the MA, aiming for clean charts. Lastly, ensure your polylines are active, as inactive ones might make it hard to see the MA saber on the chart. That covers the indicator settings for now. Now, let's discuss how this indicator works to identify trend reversals in the market. Whenever we get a new yellow saber, this indicates two things. First, it signals that the price is likely to reverse from a bullish move to a bearish move. Secondly, it could also serve as a resistance level. If the price breaks the resistance level, then we expect prices to continue moving upward. The same principles apply for the opposite signal. When we get a blue saber, it indicates two things. Firstly, it suggests that the bearish movement is likely to reverse to a bullish move and continue moving up. Secondly, this blue saber line would serve as a support zone. If prices break this support zone, it is likely that prices will continue moving downward. We'll use this indicator to trade by focusing on its support and resistance breaks, waiting for the price to break either above or below the support or resistance saber levels. For long trades, when the price closes above the yellow resistance saber and other conditions are met, we enter a long trade. Similarly, for short trades, when the price closes below the blue support saber and other conditions align, we enter a short trade. However, for the strategy showcased in this video, using just the saber indicator to identify support and resistance breaks can sometimes lead to false signals. To avoid them, we need an overall trend identification in the market to ensure we only take breakouts that align with the market's overall direction. For this strategy, we'll need to add a moving average indicator. Open the indicator search tab and type in moving average exponential, then select the one by trading view under the technicals tab. We'll also need a buy sell indicator, specifically the twin range filter by Colin MCK. Let's adjust the settings. Double click on the EMA and on the inputs tab, Change the length to 200. On the Style tab, change the EMA color to white and increase its thickness for better visibility. For the Twin Range Filter, we'll leave all the settings at their default values. To trade using these combined indicators, here's how we'll do it. For a long trade, Ensure the market is in a bullish trend by checking that the 200 period EMA is angled upwards and that the price is trading above it. This indicates an overall bullish trend. Within this bullish trend, we need the Sabre indicator to provide a resistance level. We'll wait for the price to break above this resistance level, showing that there's still enough force to drive the price upward. We'll also need to see a yellow Sabre line above the 200 EMA. Finally, the twin range filter should print a buy signal to indicate the possibility of the market continuing in the bullish trend. If the buy signal is printed outside the yellow resistance line or if the price is below the Saber resistance line, we avoid making any trades. For short trades, the conditions are reversed. Ensure the market is in a bearish trend, with the 200 period EMA angled downwards and the price trading below it. Within this bearish trend, wait for the price to break below the support level provided by the blue saber line. Also, ensure that the blue saber line is below the 200 EMA. The twin range filter should print a sell signal to indicate the possibility of the market continuing in the bearish trend. Avoid making any trades if the sell signal is printed outside the blue support line or if the price is above the Sabre resistance line.
In terms of entry and risk management, enter a long trade when all the conditions are met within a bullish trend. Place your stop loss below the most recent swing low and set your take profit at 2.2 times the risk. Let the trade run and take profit accordingly. Avoid signals triggered by large candlesticks, as they often result in false signals. Additionally, it's advised to take only one trade per saber line print to improve money management and risk control. For short trades within a bearish trend, enter when the specified conditions align. Place your stop loss above the most recent swing high and set your take profit at 2.2 times the risk. Again, avoid signals triggered by large candlesticks, as they tend to be less reliable. Now, let's proceed with backtesting this strategy on the USDJPY. I'll use an account size of $1,000 and a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 2.2. I'll analyze 100 trades to evaluate the strategy's performance. However, it's essential to note that the strategy presented in this video is for informational purposes and not financial advice. Conduct your own comprehensive backtesting and forward testing if you plan to use this particular strategy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. So, we have finished the backtesting for this strategy, and the results are looking amazing. We completed 100 trades, with 65 impressive wins against 35 losses, leaving us with a 65% win rate. We achieved a total profit of 108%, which is undeniably profitable. When looking at the risk factor, we had 5 consecutive wins against 3 consecutive losses. Make sure to conduct further backtesting and forward testing before trading live. And that's it for today's video. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.